YouTube! What's up, everyone? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys. I took this deck in one day. One day. One day. One day. We took this deck from scratch. We built a new account. We built a free to play Zephyr deck. And in one day, in one sitting, I brought it from bronze to plat one in one sitting. With what deck? Free to play Zephyr. Now, there are a few URs here, but I use it all. I did not spend a dollar on this. And in one day, sitting down, I brought it all the way to plat one. Live. It's on my Twitch. If you guys wanna go check out the VOD, the entire 17 hours is there and i'll keep it up there forever so you guys want to go check out my twitch down below you guys can go see the entire vod literally you will see the beginning of when we built this deck it started out as 40 card vft turbo with a few hand traps slowly leading up to a few more zephyr cards slowly we added some dd cards in there then we led it to denglong turbo and let me tell you right now that denglong and mare mare a combination of them with yazi is just so absolutely absurd that going second we break through any single board because of how powerful mare mare is and denglong so i'm going to show you guys the gist of this deck how we got the plot one the deck list and and everything but before we do you guys make gotta make sure to smash the subscribe button we are at 55 56 000 subscribers let's hit 60 000 baby one for each of our negates and one for every tear that our enemy cries at night knowing that they don't play the deck that we do baby let's go also one last thing guys 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 the combos i'm going to showcase you guys for new players might be a little difficult the skill cap of this deck is pretty high so if you guys want to reach that same skill cap and clap everyone in your path and make every cheeks that you see turn absolutely dark red make sure to go on my patreon where i teach you guys how to do this every single day i'm dedicating five to six videos a week of my time to make sure that this deck and everyone can learn it fully anyways let's get started so the idea of this is that hand traps are offensive if you normal summon a vela or an ash they become offensive for you because all you need for this combo is one needle fiber this deck is truly insane if for those tcg players that remember or uh, uh full power uh, infernobles where they'd set up a herald with link ross and then go into needle fiber to their full combo well this full combo is one needle fiber resolving equals three negates and amazing follow-up so the idea is that your pendulum summon is the bait your opponent is going to start negating your electrum going to negate your dd kepler you're going to negate your zephyr nui your harmonizing you don't give a shit about those you break through the board with all of those and you just save one little tuner chilling in the background then you go to needle fiber needle fiber will go into despot 01 which will go into oridon and oridon will then I bring out three tokens which will bring this out the end combo is savage dragon denglong and a divine strike and herald so you get herald savage denglong brings out zephyr nui from your deck a big ass 2600 defense with your counter trap and then when that counter trap destroys zephra it gets you as a follow-up of another zephra so it's a one card three negate plus follow-up super insane super insane there's also typically the end board is appalooza on top because with your pen summon you make a four material appalooza once you play through all interruptions and you check the toggle to see which interruption which hand traps are left so the most typical end board is a four material appalooza both counter traps a herald and a savage those are eight and sometimes you'll draw a hand trap so if you draw one of your 10 11 hand traps you'll have nine interruptions but without the hand trap draw hard draws you have eight negates typically typical board i'm not boosting you could go check for yourself on my vod now the reason behind this deck is that it never bricks i'm participating as we speak right now in distant coders uh one of distant coders local tournaments with master duelist 50 players and my very first turn i shit you not you could ask for the entire chat they're watching they're all my witnesses I drew, I hard drew, ready, Despot 01, I hard drew Mare Mare, I hard drew O-Lion, Gate 0, I hard drew all those four cards in my opening five, let me repeat that to you, Despot 01, Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion, Mare Mare, Gate 0, and my opponent had an impermanence, how many, how many interruptions do you think we put up, we put up three negates through an imperm, with those four cards in our hand the other card was a measly little zephrath not even a spell card we had zephrath gate zero like this is why this deck is so broken you you if, oh you you hard drew all your bricks you just pen summon your bricks do you guys get what i'm saying you never actually brick you just pen summon out your bricks it is truly outstanding that and, and on top of that he had an imperm and by the way that same needle fiber combo is an otk going second we also have access to selene access code with veilers like it's remarkable what this deck could do i'm gonna discuss now so i'm gonna go into it all these hand traps veiler and ash are used offensively if you ever need to so if you ever brick you just uh someone just asked did you make the deck yourself i will never play a deck i don't make myself because i'm the i'm not being cocky i don't think there's anyone in the world that has my knowledge boys pairings okay so we're playing in the distant quarter tournament so i'm just gonna finish up with this deck list tech profile boys but before we continue 
DD Kepler is a one card combo. Contract is a one card combo. These are great. They're one card combos that get you needle fiber. You also have Lamia, three maxi, one O line, time gazer, and chrono. You don't play Astrograph, it does not come up, but Chronograph comes up with Electrum, where you send it with Electrum, you special chrono and anything in your hand, and then you check if the toggle comes on for Appaloosa. Uh, sorry, for not for Appaloosa, for Nibiru on the fifth summon. So the second you see that toggle come up, if it does not come up, you're good. You make a four material Appaloosa and then needle fiber. But if it does not come up, then uh, if it does come up, then you just go Appaloosa and you're good anyways. If he does Nibiru you, you always, 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 no matter what, through Nibiru, you save it so you have a normal summon of a tuner or you have a, a special summon of a Lamy or a Distrudo to still make the needle fiber combo through a Nibiru. Nibiru doesn't do shit. Multiple times on the Twitch VOD, if you guys check, we did the full needle fiber combo through Nibiru. Uh, yeah, so harmonizing, we play White Wings of the tuner and Dark Home really good with all the Foolish Shrine, Distrudo, all these. Now, Distrudo is so broken. You need three of these. Whether you send it to your grave with Pen Call. The reason why a Synergize is crazy is because Pen Call and Duelist Alliance, you have six discards and you discard three Distrudo, Dark Worm, Kepler, get contracts, discard Lamia, contract, get Lamia. You have 10, 11, 12 discards that you get with this Pen Call. So Pen Call becomes absolutely broken. It's like Pen Call Dark Worm every time you draw it. Uh, this is a low scale that you search with Contract, Zephra, the Nibirus. I want something Maxi could search into. That's why the Nibirus are there. And all these spell cards are for absolutely crazy consistency and search power. These are the Synchros where you have Herald, Danglong, Yazi, Dragster. Dragster does come up, but it's probably the 15th card in this extra deck. Savage, Crocosaur. Crocosaur also comes up in hands where you draw like four Zephras. You want to be able to uh, search Maxi, where you go Crocosaur, search Maxi. This is your backup option. Uh, Link Karibo comes up a lot with uh, Mare Mare tokens as well as the uh, Contract Lamia. I would love to play Baxia. Baxia would probably be the next card over Dragster, but Dragster does come up a good amount of times. Uh, one Needle Fiber. I like playing Nightmare Phoenix and Nightmare Unicorn because of Mare Mare. The fact that Mare Mare could bring out three tokens, you Link Karibo one of them, and you start Nightmare Climbing. Celine, Mecha, Orodon, Appalooza, Access Code. That's it for the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This deck brought me to Plat 1 in one sitting. So if you guys want to go check out this deck for yourselves, I can only imagine what would happen when Sword Soul comes out because this deck with Sword Soul will be even wide, absolutely crazier. It's truly insane. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. And make sure to go check out the Patreon where you guys can learn these crazy combos. I actually just uploaded a video on this deck and on a bunch of tips that I didn't really explain in this video. A few tips that I kind of hit for Patreon. So make sure to go check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Before we end off this video, I just want to have one big important announcement. I just want to say that I fucking love every single one of you guys. The channel is doing absolutely amazing right now. Uh, we have 50,000 subscribers on the channel on November 1st. That was my birthday. Now we have 59,000 and it's only been like two months, three months. So uh, from the bottom of my heart, every single one of you, you guys watch the videos, you guys like the videos, you guys comment on the videos. Thank you, man. Thank you guys for letting me do what I absolutely love to do. So I want to say I absolutely love every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, every dollar that I've made on this YouTube channel so far, I'm going to be putting back into this channel back to in like a billion times over. Uh, as you see the lights in the background, I'm going to, I invested in a brand new mic that will be coming in very shortly. And man, we're going to, we're going we're gonna to take the, the channel to the stratosphere. So to every single one of my supporters, I love you guys. Expect only the best of the best content moving forward because I do this shit for you guys, man. I love you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.